What's up guys and gals? Welcome back to the Nerd Castle for the next episode of Goliath. My name is Splattercat. Happy to have you here today as we hang out for a little while and continue to build robots and I guess I'm gonna shoot that rabbit with a lance because I can't... Okay, it's a crossbow. It's not a lance, but it fires, I mean, to any average human being. I think that arrow would be about the size of a lance, so it might as well be. I fiddled around with this quest for a little bit and I followed these little footies around, but they seem to dead end out like over here and then I don't know if the quest is actually completable right now. Uh, I've looked around quite a bit, and so what I'm figuring we'll do in this episode is we will more than likely just walk away and not fiddle with it anymore, because I don't want to waste more time on camera trying to figure out what it is we're supposed to be doing, if it's bugged or not working, and given the volume of things that I've seen in this game so far that are bugged and or not working, I think that assumption is probably not too far from the point, so instead of standing here and beating my head against a quest which appears to not be resolving, I think instead... We will probably, oh no, there's so many spiders over here. Well, there was so many spiders. Now there's a whole lot of dead spiders. Solved that issue quite well. Did they just, they went back underground because they were set aflame. Do you like your spiders to be inflamed? Because if you don't like your spiders to be inflamed, you may not enjoy this episode very much. This is a pretty reasonably decent excuse for me to get some, ooh, there's lots of webs over here, no, don't chop down trees, get webs, there you go, get webs, my homie, perfect, we need those chitons anyways, I love the way I just set things on fire by being near them, because I'm so hot, so hot, you gotta get the oven mitts out to touch my mech, why are we not swinging the right direction, there we go, well, we got some spider webs, so that's pretty cool, that means I can make more adhesive, let's head back to base here, and base can be found... Right over there. Sounds good. And we'll teleport back. Let's find a different quest to do because I think this one is actually not working properly at the moment. I I'm not saying that 100%. It's possible that I'm just doing the quest wrong. But from what I've seen so far, it seems like the tracks are supposed to lead to something. And I waited till nightfall to see if the tracks led there. They did not lead there. And so anyways, we'll bounce on out and we'll try something else. This is not one of the required quests anyways. It's a side quest, so chances are it probably doesn't lead to anything super useful anyways. Put you back on the paddock of Goliath storage, and let's be on our way back to... So let's have a look at these quests here and see what we got going on. We got a missing marauder. I need to find the poor thing and take him home. Got leopard hearts that we got to bring to Sklisk. Let's see. You're asked to solve the problem on the plantation. Track down whoever stealing berries. Get rid of the thief by any means. So we already did that, and I followed it, and then the tracks just end up against, like, a wall, and nothing happens. We can. Let's track the missing marauder and see where this takes us to. So the missing marauder is going to be in Fever's Grasp, which works pretty well for us because inside that hot biome, our fire suit actually gets a bunch of buffs. So let's go have a look, shall we? Fever's grasp. I hope that the fever does not grasp me. I don't feel like being grasped right now. Oh, yeah, I left it on the paddock. I was like, so where is my fire suit? I've noticed a few things since we arrived here, and I just wanted to make them plain. Where is my fire suit? Nope, fire suit is right there with me. I wonder if I can make a bronze suit at some point. That'd be pretty legit. I'm going to assume that I've already looted all these chests over here. Because it seems like a really, really obvious thing to do before you leave. That thing seems like it probably wants to hurt me. Or at least has murder on its mind, as well as its money on its mind, and its mind on its money. With my mind on my money, and my money on my mind. For me, it doesn't really go that way here on the interwebs. Ow, I've been punched. Here on the interwebs, it doesn't really go like that. Oh, really? He's immune to being hit by... Alright, whatever. I will knock you down then, and then I will defeat you with the power of spin moves. Yeah, you know you like the spin moves, and now you get beat down. It's hot enough to where we should be able to regenerate all our health anyway, so I'm not going to stress too much about taking hits to my big old wooden dome. It looks like there may be some quest inside of here. There's a lot of you stony guys around. Is there anything I need to do here for experiments while I wait? So we got the fiery guy right there in order to move up, kill five desert golems with a wooden goliath. So I doubt that the coal goliath is going to work here. So in order to kill those things, let me put you on guard mode, and then I'm going to jump into a wooden one. And then we shall make friends. 
Other suit, please don't get your ass kicked. It's really going to upset me if you're... Oh, shit, we're on fire. Bail out. And there goes that suit. So, hooray. That fight went about as well as I expected it to. Let's go all in on these. I doubt this is actually going to work in terms of getting what we need for the kill. Ugh, that suit broke too, apparently. Why are all the suits so fragile? Like, I feel like I level up and then the suitiness is just like pointless. Do I not have telepointers anymore? Like, all the suits are super fragile. They break like instantly against any form of attrition. I, I've got the, the stone suit, but... I mean, I don't think it's going to help very much. I wish the stone suit was immune to knockdowns. Like, no joke, it's a stone suit. It should be immune to knockdowns. There's no reason why a heavy-ass suit should be taking hits like that. And look how low our health is already. Like, how did they deal that much damage so quickly? Brutal. Maybe I just forgot to, uh, to heal it on up. I could be wrong here. Uh, who's out there? I'm so thirsty and I can't move. My arm is trapped. Are you Scratch the Unreliable? I was set to find you by one of your friends. Friends? No, that can't be right. Probably old Scubs the drunk dealer. He's jealous of me and always wants to know where I am on account of the fact that I'm the supreme leader of the Vermafia. I'm just out here because I can't trust any of my underlings to do anything right. Anyways, I was exploring this ruin and found some great loot, but everything is just falling apart. So I'm stuck here. I think we could clear it off. Uh, I think we could clear it off me if I use the bomb, and I have one. I could give it to you through this crack, and you could blow up the stones, but please, don't kill me. Snort. What a stupid idea. There's a massive pileup of stones. Scrass the Unreliable has an arm trapped under it, but otherwise appears to be uninjured. There are several pockets where you could place some sort of explosive device without risking killing the rat. Alright. I mean, the job was to blow it up, so whatever. I bet he won't die. He'll probably be fine. You just leaving? You're not going to say thank you or anything like that after I designed and put together a bomb to save your life? See, this is why nobody wants to hang out with the rats. They're rude. So rude. I would like that dynamite. These military crates over here tend to have, like, weird random shit inside of them, and so... As a collector and purveyor of weird random shit, I feel alright about this. We'll grab some of the dynamite. I know I missed that dynamite over there. I've decided that I don't care. We're all nice and warmed up now. I'm going to go back this way because I think this actually stands a better chance of taking us back out to our base quicker. I need to repair one of our suits. So that we can go back in and re-unlock. If you remember in previous episodes, I already unlocked the uh, sniper suit or whatever. The problem being with the sniper suit is that we had a bug right afterwards that forced me to reload a save. So I'm going to fix these guys. They are now repaired. Why is that just catching fire by default? I thought it caught fire when you got attacked by something, but that definitely makes that set of achievements very, very difficult. Interesting. I mean, if I could fight one of the stony guys from the water, I guess I'd be okay, but... Maybe that fire was left over? No. I think we're actually catching fire. Problematic though. Uh, I need me club. Where's me club at? There it is. Got me club. Going in for the big hits right there. And then basically I'm just going to focus on... On scumming a little bit and making sure that I never fight them face to face in order to re-unlock this. Got a couple more of these little stone guys in here. And I think we only need to kill like one or two... We don't need to kill a bunch. So for the experiment, we got to kill like one more. Maybe it did count inside the other suit. I don't know. Inside my charcoal suit. Those do not work at all, though. So we're just going to have to do that this way. 
There we go. Give him the stunnage. Oh, man. The stunnage from our robot tonnage. Perfecto. We have now unlocked the sniper suit, but our suit is going to explode in just a moment. That's all right, because I just want to go build the sniper suit. I think, like, the big main thing with this game that you want to do is just unlock suits. If you focus too much on the combat or the other facets of the gameplay, you'll find that they fall through pretty quickly. Like, I don't know. The combat is not super in-depth. It's not something that's going to put a ton of thought inside your brain. Likewise, a lot of the other areas of the game are, like, buggy or just kind of, like, light. And so the best thing I find to focus on is just focus on upgrading your suits and making them better. So if we wanted to make the Sniper Goliath... How do I make that happen? So we got to kill a red grabber using an unarmed wooden coal goliath. I don't know what a red grabber is, so... For the body, we need to reach level 17. We have to kill 30 enemies with a revolver. Stun 10 enemies simultaneously for the legs. Okay. For the snow golem, we have to kill a grabber with a goliath in the overdrive mode. I still don't know what a grabber is, though, because none of the mobs in this game are labeled with names. So I guess I'll just have to wait until I see something that looks like it might be called a grabber. Something with little graspy, greedy hands. And then 15 snow golems to get the head. That sounds reasonably doable. Alright, well, we gotta, back, we gotta go back and talk to Scubs anyway, so I think we should be done on this map. The Lawless Land, let us fly. If our newish golems could fly, I think that would definitely step it up a notch for me to fly around like an airship in a Final Fantasy game. It's like, wah, 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 wah. I would admit that's the noise that I would make if I was an airship and I was flighty. Wah, 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 wah. Why is there only a head on that one? Hmm. Everybody else constructed appropriately. All right, let's go find Scubs. We'll walk on over there. I need to kill some creatures with a revolver, apparently, if I want this to work in my favor. I'm going to break down some of these bushes, too, because we definitely could use the excess twigs for future construction. I don't think I have very many with me right now. In the meantime, it might also be smart. Let's get out the stone golem. I'm telling him to guard me so that I can revolver some people. I know the world doesn't revolve around me, but every now and again, he's got to shoot something with a revolver. Because it's entertaining. What's the point in having a gun if we can't shoot stuff with it? Spider. That's right, Spider. You better back up before you get smacked up. Oh, we got him tanking now. Cool. Cool. Do we just have, like, infinite ammunition when we fight with things? I think we have infinite ammu ammunition, which is pretty sweet. I accept. I'm going to shoot this over here with my gunnery. Oh, I, was, I slightly shot that tree down, too, because I'm talented on that level. You better stop, spider. You better stop. I don't know if I killed that one or if he killed that one. I'm going to go ahead and... I'm going to say it was me, though, because I feel like that works out better... Oh, shit. They look kind of angry. Oh, they're level 35. Even better. Well, now they're level dead, so that worked out great. How many coins did they drop, out of curiosity? They drop anything good? I don't know that they did. I don't deal that much damage. And I got my other mech suit on my side. I like the way that I can have multiple mech suits out fighting, though. That's pretty sweet. Like, I got the stone suit to back me up while I'm kicking the ass off of him with my coal suit. Because that's obviously the best melee option is to go with the coal suit. you got to do that. I may try to focus. Oh, let me grab a little bit of a heal right there. Because I don't think we're going to get it from anywhere else. And let's go talk to Scubs. we got conversations that we need to have right now while this game is not... 
a talkie game. It's still a game where we have to assemble some allies so that we can help out the fox people, I guess. Scuba dub dub, three men in a tub. Where you at, dude? Why were the three men... So in that rhyme, why were three men sharing a tub together? This seems unnecessary. Like, I feel like that would make you dirtier. Like, the tub itself. Let, let's take aside all other connotations and all other, like, assumptions and implications we can make there. But it feels to me as though, if you've got three men in a tub and all are suitably dirty from a hard day hustling, that the water's just going to be a nasty mess and you're all just going to get dirtier from that experience. It's not going to be better for anybody. Scubs the junk dealer. So, it looks like you freed Scraps the unreliable. As the leader of all the rest, I salute you. As an undercover junk dealer, I am angry. He hasn't brought me back any of his loot or any of the stuff that he has borrowed from me. In fact, he said you stole it from him. He also said he was the leader of the rats and that you were just jealous, so maybe that's true too. Huh. Well, that's, uh, well, that's obviously not true. Okay, fine. You have completed something in Russian. This is I decree as an undisputed leader of the Vermafia. All right then, boss. Got anything else for me? So that's done. We've had a crash of some sort of human transport over in the snowy area. Humans have the best junk, and they never seem to know what to do with it, except for you, of course. One look at your robotic suits shows that you have great familiarity with garbage. Well, thanks. I would particularly like any orange chips you can find in the wreckage. We don't know what they do, but whatever. They make nice jewelry. My wife and daughter want them, and I gotta get them what they want, or else they make my life miserable. Alright, I, ex I accept. So apparently there's marauders in the snow right now. What other things can I do? Because I just did that journaly quest. I need the trust of the raiders, so Sklisk the vivisector is the next person I need to take this to. And is he inside this zone right here? He is. He's inside this zone. Hooray for us. Let me throw myself inside of a speedier suit real fast. We can't go through that door right there, so unfortunately I'm about to go out and around the edges. We might spend most of our time in this episode just turning in quests and getting things done. What's up, spiders? How you doing today? You're looking a little bit more pummeled than the last time I saw you. I thought I told you to stay away from those pummelings, but hey. You arachnids, you don't want to listen to me. And this is what happens when you don't listen to me. Ah, human, you are back. Do you have all of the hearts all bloody and disgusting? Yes, here they are. Yeah, so they are. Very disgusting. And these will work nicely for the theorem, my hard-hearted human friend. I know you must have enjoyed this on some level. I mean, yeah, I do. Grr, murder, kill. That's me. Hooray! Sklisk the vivisector is now happier with us. What does he want? Human, you are back! Excellent! We have finished the strength theorem and now we are testing it. Oh yeah, that makes sense. You want to make sure it's safe. So do you test it on some lab... Uh, never mind. What do you do? Well, human, obviously, we have to test it on stupid creatures who have no sense of pain and have no personality of their own. And because humans are scarce, we use trolls. So now we have a troll who is doped to the gills on a snow leopard theorem, and he is so strong that we cannot handle him. We need him back alive, but can you get in your armor and knock the fight out of him? Okay, because as you know, I am merciless and tough, so I guess I'll go beat on this troll. Oh, they put me in the Thunderdome with him. Yeah, he does look kind of tough right now. He looks like he could possibly injure me if he wanted to. Maybe I'll just burn him to death. Also, I need weaponry. Where are my weapons? Eh. No. I need weapons. All of the weapons. And now we're ready for the beating. We'll take him out the old-fashioned way. With punching. And saying mean things about his madre. Eh. I'd like to point out that this is all the rat's fault. They didn't have to get this guy all coked out on serum. There it is. And so now we should maybe be able to finish him right here. I hope that this is fatal. Ow. And not for me. You got to be more specific. Yeah, 
Excellent. Even though you destroyed our test troll, we've gotten a great deal of scientific knowledge out of watching the battle. And of course, I know you enjoyed bashing him around. Okay, yeah, I can't get enough of hurting other creatures. Huh. Sounds as if your heart is not in it, human. Never mind. I must be imagining things. You have accomplished much with the rats, and I mean my subjects, so well done. Alright, thanks. I guess I'm off to do something else terrible. God, you have more quests? Ho oh, there, honored warrior! I am also the leader of a small group of rats who are, well, I misspoke. I am the leader of all the rats here and everywhere. Anyways, one of my many responsibilities is a small group of scouts who have ventured into the desert and lost contract. I need you to find them. Can you do it, armored warrior? Cool, sounds better. Do I have to kill anybody? Doesn't look that way, son, but don't be sad. Maybe something will come up. Hooray, raiders in the desert. We get to do more quests to murder things. It looks like there's something looty over here, though. Ah, it's those things that I have already attended here. I gotta, gotta get myself all healed up, otherwise we just ain't gonna make it. Now, what was next up on the list? Because I think we earned the trust of most of the rat factions around here. Now we gotta talk to Scree, and I think that was the next main quest. So where is Scree at? Scree is all the way up at the top. All right, then. Well, we're kind of out of time for the day, so my name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me here for the next episode of Goliath. I will see you all in future episodes of Goliath. I'm going to do this long walk to the north, and once I get there, we will resume our gameplay by playing around with some of the quests for the rats, who have actually been some of our best benefactors so far. I mean, I know that we get quests from a lot of different people, but the rats seem to be most forthcoming with the pay and also with the quest, so I think I'm all right about it. I will see you all when we get there. Bye, everybody. This is Goliath. Get it for yourself down below if you wanted to play the game. Just be aware. There are a lot of boogs. There are many, many boogs inside this title. All right. Bye, everybody.